Let's go over some more questions relating to bonding. We're starting with question six. What is the number of pairs of electrons shared in a molecule of N2? Now you gotta be careful. A pair of electrons represents one bond. So that's something where students can get confused. The other is a molecule of N2. How many bonds are there between these two atoms? If we go to the periodic table, nitrogen is in group 15. Nitrogen has five valence electrons. It wants to get to eight, the noble gas configuration. So in the case of nitrogen bonding with itself, it actually forms a triple bond, which I'm showing here with three lines. The actual dot diagram for this, by the way, you'd have the pair, extra pairs of electrons on either end. So the number of pairs of electrons that are being shared would be three. Each pair, right, there's a total of six, but the pairs of electrons is three. Let's move on to number seven. It says, which Lewis electron dot diagram represents a fluoride ion? Well, again, you got to go to the periodic table. Some of you might think you know this, again, off the top of your heads. Use the table. Always double check. I'm dealing with fluorine. Fluorine has seven valence electrons. And by the way, let me mention something to you. The group number here, 13 through 18, with the exception of helium, which is only two valence electrons, if I just cross out the number one in front, it's three, four, five, six, seven, and eight valence electrons. So that's one way I'll, I'll know. Also one here and two here. The middle of the table is the transition that's a little more difficult. The other thing is, of course, that you're given the electron configurations for the atoms, so by definition, it's the valence electrons in the last principal energy level. So it's easier to see carbon here. See how it's 2-4? Four? 4, of course, is the number of uh, valence electrons for carbon. And notice 14, you knock the 1 off and it's 4. Okay. So we were looking for fluorine or fluoride as an ion. Fluorine has 7 valence electrons. But as an ion, you see the minus sign it actually gains one electron. So I need a total of eight dots around fluorine. I need the brackets because I'm showing the minus sign on the outside. So the answer for number seven is choice two. Let's move on to question eight. The number of electrons in an aluminum three plus ion. All right, so here we go back and aluminum has three valence electrons so if I take away those three, what am I left with? I'm left with 10, and that's exactly what my answer is, choice one. For question nine, which statement describes a multiple covalent bond? All right, so we're seeing this whole like multiple covalent bond thing again. Also, of course, you gotta remember covalent means sharing of electrons. Transferring, well, that's for ionic. So we're going to cross out choices three and four, and we're left with one or two. Two electrons that are shared is only a single bond, right? Two electrons per bond, so it's got to be choice two. Move on to number 10, electronegativity difference between the atoms in a molecule of HCl can be used to determine the electronegativity difference well, first of all, you got to remember what electronegativity is. Electronegativity is a measure of an atom's ability to pull an electron towards itself. Chlorine is more electronegative than hydrogen, and of course I could look that up, so don't take my word for it. Chlorine is 3.2, hydrogen 2.2, so that means chlorine wants to share the pair between the two closer to the chlorine atom and not hydrogen. In other words, setting up a negative end and a positive end. When I go through the choices then, the only choice that makes sense is choice four. We're going to do one more here. Question 11, which statement explains why a CO bond is more polar than an FO bond? Well again, 
And this is one of the reasons why I wanted to mention it here. We're dealing with electronegativity difference. So electronegativity difference can give me an indication of what's going on with bonding. Just like actually looking at the formula, am I dealing with two nonmetals or am I dealing with a metal and a nonmetal? Metal and nonmetal ionic, two nonmetals covalent. So again, CO and FO, I can look at electronegativity difference, which is choice three. Check out more videos. There's more bonding questions to answer. In total, I believe there's about 20 questions on bonding. Keep going, work hard, and good luck.